What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Breakwaters. The developers were so kind to send over a beta build that we could play around with. If you've never seen this game before, it's an open world survival titan slaying RPG where you cruise around the ocean doing fun ocean guy stuff, flying around in pirate sloops, submarines, all that kind of cool stuff, building bases, workbenches, items, gear, weapons, and then fighting big dudes like that guy right there in the background. You see him cruising? Yeah, that's our ultimate target. So anyways, thank you for joining me here today. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, comes out in early access pretty soon. I'll have a link for you down below in the description. Aside from that, if you see any UI elements or anything that look really primitive like these over here, those are placeholders. Those are not permanent. They put that in the press release when they sent the key over. In addition, I am going to be playing this game in further detail on the day that this video comes out on Twitch TV, so check out that link down below. You can also go through my Discord if you wanted to ask me any questions about this weird, magical game. Let's start it on off. We got a little guy. Ooh, last bottle. I'll take that. Let's see here. Open your inventory menu. Craft a hardened shell axe from the base crafts. What is this? A ruined piece of paper? Do I need the ruined piece of paper? Who are you? Oh, thank God. There's someone else on the island. I'm an archaeologist studying the turtle titan you see in the distance. I tracked it and a relic to this island. I feel like the relics and the titans have got to be related somehow. Help me find the relic and uncover the truth, and I'll help you find a way off the island. Deal? Deal. All right, so you need food and water. He wants me to gather berries and coconuts from the palm trees. So we will do that at one point or another. But let's just cruise around for a minute. If we kill a crab, we can get a crab shell. And I want to make an axe first, because that's going to make our life on the island a lot easier. Uh, there's his shell right there. There we go. So now we got the crab shell. Now we just need to get some sticks, and I think we need to get some grass, and then we'll be ready to rock. And there was grass over here, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there's grass right there next to those yellow crystals. Those yellow crystals, they repel the water, almost Moana style. Like, you know how Moana used to walk through the ocean like Moses? Exactly the same thing in this game. Just yellow crystals do it all. You can take the yellow crystals, and you can put them inside of a bottle, and if you throw the yellow bottle out into the middle of the ocean, it'll actually clear a spot for, like, a long time. And that's actually a major mechanic in this game that allows you to walk on the seafloor. All right, so we got 20 grasses right there. That should be good enough for a little bit. And then I think the last thing that we need for our axe is we need some sticks off these bushes over here. And the bushes are going to give us the berries that we need in order to make that guy happy for his tutorializing anyways. So let's just do it. The downside is sometimes there's rats in the bushes, and the rats may cause you pain, suffering, and anguish. So keep that in mind, too. Do I have enough for that? I need two sticks. Okay. Apparently, I'm hitting all these bushes at the same time because I am a mighty man with the mighty, powerful powers of cleaving. All right, I'll grab all the stuff from over here, and that's good, and we can make our axe now. Now we've got an axe, so I'll put that in my one slot real fast. I don't need the dead rat. I feel like that's an item that's not going to be inherently altogether that useful. I'll snack on some berries. The meters that I'm looking at are in the bottom left right there. You can see the hunger and the water meter. Top of that, our health is right below that, too. I can just get a couple of coconuts to make this guy happy. There we go, a couple of coconuts. We're going to need a few branches and things like that in order to make a workbench. I don't plan on leaving this island for a little while. I kind of want to get like settled on in and homestead and like level up a little bit before we go anywhere. And we're going to need about 10 of these branches before we can really make ourselves comfortable and at home. So let me just get a few more coconuts and things off here. Very nice. So now we've got all the t we've got all the uh, branches that we need in order to make our workbench. Let's go talk to this guy real fast and let him know that we have become a champion at stuffing our faces. Were you able to find those supplies? I was. Not the most gourmet thing in the world, but it'll keep us going. Now, let's get to work. My research says that the relic is buried at a ruin site made of titan stone. In the ruins, titan stone's unbreakable, but that's okay. We don't need to break it. Treasures like the one were blocked, or treasures like this one were blocked by the ancients. We will need to prepare before we can seek the treasure at the Titan Stone Ruins. Okay, so we need a workbench, like I said. Uh, the Builder's Bench, we actually already have the stuff for the Builder's Bench. So I would recommend, it looks like the crystals are holding back the water over here. So I think we could probably just build our base over on this side. Sometimes there's a little camp around here somewhere that has like a campfire and like a bench and a couple of other supplementary items next to it. And if you can find that... Ow, dude, what was I struck by? A chicken? Chicken, you want the smoke, bro? I will fight you, pollo. Yeah, how you like me now? Uh-huh. Didn't like that at all, did you? Ooh, bones. Bones are useful. I'll tell you what for a little bit later. I don't really need the feathers. Could probably use the food, though. 
berries are nice. The meat's a good idea, too. We can cook that up a little bit later. I'm going to murder this chicken over here, too. I'm going to take care of... Listen, I'm preemptively chicken whacking, okay? There's no way to know that these chickens are not going to turn on me and try to annihilate me. Therefore, they must die. Uh, we've got another bottle over here. Bottles are good for holding water, and we're going to need to hold water. A lot of it once we start traveling in between islands and going on, like, long sailing journeys. These crates right here usually have blueprints and stuff inside of them so that you can learn to craft new things. But that's not important right now. I don't see the campsite around, so I'm just going to assume that it's not here. So instead, I'm just going to... Oh, there's a rat. Hold on. Let me get some extra meat. There we go. Extra meat from the rat. Let's go ahead and we'll put down our builder's bench over here. All right, Builder's Bench, you can be like right there. Looks good. Now, I'm going to go back and talk to this guy real fast and figure out what he wants me to do uh, next. But I'm probably going to build a campfire and we'll probably settle on in here and get kind of comfortable. Get a little bit comfy wumfies. I built your bench. Great. Now on to the real magic, crystals in this case. We're going to need to craft refined yellow crystals. The ancients who built the ruins used the water to protect their secrets. The refined yellow crystals push the water back so that you can find what's buried there. Okay, we can make those at our bench too, so that shouldn't be too hard. Although I'm against, I don't want to break any crystals that are right next to the water's edge because it'll cause like flooding and stuff, and that's kind of like a headache. So I'd rather not deal with that right now. Let's go ahead and break this thing open. And we got the crystals that we need. The little crystal shards, those are the currency of the game. So when you find, like, merchants and stuff like that, they will usually only accept yellow crystals in trade for, like, the stuff that you want. And we didn't really get that many crystals from this batch, so I'm probably going to go get this guy over here. I won't get the big one that's over there, just because it's holding back the water from this wreck. And I'd rather not flood this wreck if I can't help it. But let's go ahead and get these real fast. I love that my tools don't have durability. That's the best decision ever. Like, legitimately, that's a great decision. I don't like it when games have tools that have, like, limited durability. It just kind of annoys me. I would rather have to farm up more stuff and then make the tool, and it lasts longer than have to deal with, like, constantly, constantly, constantly trying to farm stuff out. All right, so there's our refined yellow crystal. I want to make a bag, though. So we need four sticks, and we need eight more grass. I'm going to find some sticks around here. Yeah, here, rats. Yeah, here. There we go. I will take your meat, too. Yeah, let me get the rat meat. Rat meat's better than no meat, man. Everybody's got to eat. All right, so we've got our sticks. Let me go get my grass real fast. Oh, those are the ruins right there. That's where he's going to send me to throw the grenade into it. Apparently, there was a sealed common map right there. This game gives you little randomly generated, like, treasure hunts and stuff that you can do sometimes out of the bottles that you find on the ground. Not every time, but sometimes. And then if you can get to the treasure, it's usually like a bunch of money or something. Give me these. I was going to bring a little bit extra back with me, but I don't have the inventory space right now, so I don't think it's going to be optimal. And we'll chop that down. Let's go back to our bench, and we'll get our backpack done so that we can carry like a little bit more stuff. Just because carrying capacity in this game is like super, super low. And we'll go back on in here. We'll make the net bag. He's dropped it on the ground, of course, because he likes to break my heart. Let me get the net bag real fast. We'll put that over here, and it'll add a little pouch to the back of our character right there. And now we've got additional slots that we can store stuff in. I'll put some bottles in there, put my shards in there, basically anything I'm not planning on using right this second. Eat some food. We're going to need to make a campfire pretty shortly. I don't think there's any way around that. Wait, let me use you. All right, so if we wanted to make a campfire, it's going to take four redstone. Oh, I don't think we can get redstone on this island. We've also got a solar still that we can make that'll supply us with pretty much all the water we'll ever need as long as it's daytime. But I don't think we're quite there yet. For the crystal bench, we need a polished blue crystal shard. Can't get that just yet. And some unobtainium. It's possible that that's locked inside the beta. Inside the beta. You may not be able to get to that. Let's maybe... I'm looking for redstone, but I think you have to leave before you can get the redstone. I also don't know if I can take my bench with me. Hopefully, I can take my bench with me. I'm going to farm up a little bit more grass. All right, I've got enough grass to make myself feel like I've been productive today. Uh, other things that... Let's go talk to the tutorial guy, actually. We'll just knock that out real fast. I got your crystals. They look great. It looks like we're all ready. Talk to me again when you're ready to head out. Now, take the treasure map and the shovel. If you use the treasure map, you'll see where the relic is buried, and when you get there, you'll need to use the shovel to dig up whatever's buried. Be careful. There are more dangers than just the water lurking about. Okay, it's pretty much this pool over here from what I remember. 
yeah, it's this pool right here. So we're going to go over here, and then we're going to chuck one of these flasks in here to clear out the water. And then once we've done that, we should be able to access the treasure. Oop, I fell in the water. All right, throw that in there. And there you go. No more water. We've got our shovel. Oh, crab's trying to fight me. Hold on. Die, crab. Eh. You're now dead. Enjoy being dead. Super dead. And there it is. We got the Titan Relic. Let's jump on out of here, and we'll go talk to our manses over here. And I'm pretty sure he's going to tell us that... Oh, my God. Okay. Consider consider myself put on notice, I guess. Oh, there's Spiderians. Oh, my God. There's so many spiders. Okay. Fight for your life. Spider fight. Dude, all the times I have put spiders on pieces of paper in my house and put them outside, and this is how they betray me for not gushing them, I am so offended right now. The treaty has been betrayed. Is the tutorial guy still alive? Oh, good. He didn't get lasered into a thousand pieces by that weird blueberry beam that guy just fired at me. You get the Titan Stone? Yep. You're back. I was worried the Titan might have killed you when I saw it attack. What did you find? Oof, this is incredible. I've never seen one of the relics before. I need you to take this relic to my brother's shoe. He's on a large island around the Titan Stone ruins on that island. To get off the island, normally you would use your boat, but you don't have one, so you're going to need to build a flare to call a trader into the island. They'll be more than happy to transport you to the large island for a price. I'll give you a blueprint so that you can learn how to make the flare. Okay. Yep. Now we know how to make the flare so that we can summon the guy that'll drive us all over the place and act as our own little, like, nautical uber. So that we can sing jaunty songs and be like... Uh, I need this right here for making the flare. And the water level is kind of low right now, so I'm going to try and grab it before the tide comes in. Oh, tide came in anyways. Tide, no, love me. All right, so for the boat flare, we need two of those, and we need two yellow crystals. I don't really have a lot of inventory space left, but I will grab this crystal over here, because why not? We can get those oysters off the rock right there, as far as I know, but I don't know why I would bother. There we go, yellow crystal. What's in here? Anything good? A rope and a cannonball and some tree sap. Okay. Um, I'll just leave them. Like, cannonballs sound awesome, but I don't think we're quite at the nautical combat phase of our adventure yet. Maybe someday, but not now. Oh, no. The sun's going down. Also, I need to farm up some food or something. Yep. I don't think there's any way around it. Your man's got to farm up some food. Okay, well, I farmed up some food and water, and we're walking around in the beauty of the night right now. And we gotta still make that flare, so I gotta track down a few more crystals while we're in the neighborhood. Just so we can slam those together and make our little nautical flare. I think that should get us up and out of here. I'd rather not make another workbench, though, so I think I'm gonna try to pick up my workbench before we leave. Although, I don't even know if picking up stuff that you've already placed is even an option. I refilled my meters a little bit. They do go down very, very quickly, though, so I do feel like it's going to be kind of a, a constant struggle to keep the meters filled up. My health is freaking terrible right now, and I don't know how I fix it. Let me get some more of these crystals over here. There we go. Give me the goodies. All right, so I got five more shards, so I think we should have enough to bribe the boatman, but in the case that we don't have enough to bribe the boatman, I can always sell some of the extra stuff I've got laying around in my inventory. Let's make this flare. There it is. We got the boat flare. And I don't know if we have to check in with the tutorial guy before we're allowed to fire it or if we can get ahead of ourselves. But just to avoid any logic errors inside the context of, like, the code, just in case it doesn't like you doing things out of order, I'm just going to, like, go back and talk to tutorial mans for a second. It does look like I can tear down my workbench. My workbench is at half HP, dude. He blueberry lasered my workbench. I named it Wally. I pet it every night before I go to bed because I'm lonely. Oh, uh, you recover some of the stuff that went into building it. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I'm going to recover my stuff, and then we're going to head to the next island, because that's where all the resources are so that we can actually properly get moving. All right, so locate the Titan Stone on one of the large islands. Oh, okay, so I guess I can just fire it. Uh, we got to be 15 feet out in the water for this boat to show up. Otherwise, he's kind of a meanie face, and he won't. I feel like no matter where I go, that Titan is right in front of me. Uh, let's see if we can find 15 depth water out here somewhere. Come on, 15 depth water. 
15 depth water. Give me that 15 depth water. Fire in my flare. There it goes. Flare's off. Hey, and there's the submarine man. Very nice. All right, let's go talk at him real fast. Saw your flare from the depths, what do you need? I've got goods to trade and can also ferry you to another island for the right price, but you don't get to choose where you want to go, that's my choice. I'm the captain of the vessel, so it's like I go to Delta Airlines and I buy a ticket and they're like, thank you for your patronage, you're going somewhere! Like, okay, fair enough. Uh, I would like to look at your shop for a second. You have empty bottles, treasure maps, apparently I can learn to make a boat too, which would be rad as all hell. I would love to make a boat. Would you like to purchase my meat? Huh? There we go. Meat for you, sir. All right. Uh, I would like to travel. It costs 13 and it takes us to Golem Island. All right. Off to Golem Island we go. Nobody ever does the second part of that song. Nobody ever does that part. They always do the first part, but not the second part. Either way, I'll get back with you once we arrive at the other island. It's a long trip. This is basically like being on a flight path in World of Warcraft back in vanilla. Like, especially one of those ones that went all the way down to, like, Thousand Needles from the top of the continent. You used to just put that one on there and go watch a movie. There we are, creeping up on Golem Island. Absolutely love the water physics in this game. I think that the water engine is fantastic. Some of the other animations are a little bit rough and janky, and like the enemies, when you hit them, they sort of just go stiff and roll around. Like the hit feedback is not quite there yet. But the water physics is something that they've knocked out of the park. Golem Island. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere to me. It's more like a Stalem Island, in all honesty. All right. All ashore. He just dumps me out in the water. <laughs> Later, punk. You only paid $13. I don't give you good service. I'll put you in the water, son. Uh, there's redstone right there. That's exactly what we need to start getting our base up and running. And this area actually looks fairly protected by these yellow crystals, so I might just build over here because it's easy to see on the map in the bottom right. We can just kind of know that we're at the top right of the island when we need to be. Now let's bust open some of these redstones. So after a long time whacking, just whacking it on some redstone, uh, we got ourselves... A little bit. It's probably not going to be enough to get most of the tasks done that we want to get done now that we've landed here. But we do need to make ourselves a base, and then we need to find shoes so that we can learn how to kill the Turtle Titan. So let's go ahead and we'll just kind of make a base over here where we can find Sucker and Supply. And then we'll worry about the other stuff a little bit later. Where was that really good spot that we were looking at just a second ago? Oh, there's a big boy here. Nope, don't like that at all. Why is he walking like he's on a carpet covered in Legos? He's doing like a stanky leg thing right now. He's like, do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. All right. Well, I don't want to be anywhere near you. It looks like the tide came in is what I think happened, and it wiped out that little area. I'm glad I didn't just, like, get to work building instead of waiting and seeing because the tide can kind of be a problem in this game. And there's not, like, really well-dedicated tide lines to let you know. Like, you can see the soaked water right there. But sometimes it just kind of does whatever it wants, and you just kind of deal with it. And there's another golem over there, too. No kidding, golem island. There we go. My cursor was stuck on screen. Okay, so I feel like that area is not going to work. We'll just kind of be on the north shore over here, I guess. Let's go ahead and we'll mash out another builder's bench real quick. There's another builder's bench. Builder's bench is all good to go. What can I build? We can make a leaf hat. That'll make my hydration go down slower, so I'll throw that on there. We already got the net bag, so that's no biggie. We can make a stone axe right now, which is like one damage better than what we have. So I'll take that, and then we can just chuck that. We don't even need it. I think... What else we got going on? As far as contraptions go, I think a fire pit is a very smart choice. I don't know if that's single use or like multi-use. Looks like it's multi-use, so we're okay right there. Now we can kind of cook food effectively because food is going to be a little bit more rare on this island and then on top of that we want a solar still so I need to go kill a green jelly and we need to get a few more sticks sounds like a plan to me uh, there's some berries just to kind of get our hunger back down I need 10 sticks though I need way more sticks than we currently have yep just bop that rat real quick there we go just give me some more oh, there's another rat over here die 
There we go. The rat is now officially dead. I don't know what rodent kind ever did to me to make me like this, but it's just I see rat, I stomp. All right, so we've got that. Let's go see if we can find... There's a slime right there. I think we got to wait for him to break up, though. I don't recall. Uh, the game does have a couple performancey chugs, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about checking out the early access. I'm on a pretty beastly rig right now, and it still chunks up on me from time to time. Oh, he smacked me. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. How do I get him to break? I need him to break into, like, little slimes. Like, the little slimes you can kill with a weapon, I think. But when they're in, like, big boy form like that, where they got, like, the big old jelly tummy gut going on, I think it's much less likely that you go and get them. That's probably shoe right there would be my guess. I kind of wonder if I throw this at him, it'll make him break up. Let's find out. Like, he looks like he's made out of fluids, right? Did it work? It did not work. Okay, that plan was just a marked failure. Dude, why do I have like a piece of romaine lettuce on my head, dude? I look like I'm like the iceberg warrior right now. I have come to fight on behalf of the fibers you consume. Give yourself healthy gut flora or suffer, usurper. So I don't know how I get the slimes to break up. I saw them do it, and I think it's when water hits them or something. Let me see if I can drag them down to this water over here, and maybe that'll do it. Like, the water comes from blue crystals, so maybe the water will make him break apart. No, the water did not make him break apart. Oh, now I'm being attacked by pirates, too. Unpleasant. Not entirely unpredictable, though. I'll fight the pirate. I fight you, pirate. I fight you. Oh, cool. He had food on him. Either that or I'm eating him, one or the other. Oh, he had a crab sword, too. I wonder if different damage types will make him break up. Nope. Doesn't look like that sword really did a whole lot, either. Hmm, concerning. I don't know how I get them to break up then. I need them to break into little slimes. When they break into little slimes, you can kill them. But when they're in big slime form, they're like invulnerable to hits, unfortunately. And there's got to be some trigger that makes it happen. Like I've drug them into water. I threw a yellow thing at them. Maybe it's got a rain on them or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go talk to Shu while we wait to see how the slimes break apart. I haven't seen any of them breaking apart just yet. So are you Shu? Hello, I don't get many visitors out here. What can I do for you? He's got a mission? Funny meeting someone else around these parts. This is quite the place, isn't it? I love it out here in the wilds. A man can be free to do what he wants, and what I want is to unlock these here Titan Stone Ruins. This site has a specific name, the Titan Gate Ruins. You see, the Titan Gate, from what I can decipher from the ruins, is an ancient device that was used to corral the Titans, a way to keep them from wandering where they please and wreaking havoc like they do. It's my goal to lock these monsters up so the world can be at peace again. Okay. Oh, you were sent by my brother to show me something. Yeah, dude, a Titan relic. I've seen one of these before. They unlock things around the Titan Stone Ruins. It's pivotal to the research. Okay. So you helped my brother with his research, so I could use your help solving a puzzle here. It centers around the pedestal at the top of the ruins. According to the pictures around the ruins, we'll need to power the pedestal, place a key in the pedestal, then point it to a place deep in the ocean to reveal the switch for the Titan Gate. There are other symbols around the pedestal that might hold clues to solving the puzzle. You may need to craft a few things in order to do it as well. It's best for you to set up a base of operations somewhere on the island. Okay. Fair enough. He's got a free workbench over here. Oh, I can't activate it. Never mind. Nope, I didn't figure out the puzzle. No puzzle figured out. That one looks kind of deflated. Okay. He definitely is not taking damage. But he looked kind of deflated for a second. I don't know. Maybe if I take him out into deep water. Come here. Come here. Break apart. There he goes. That's how you do it. You got to drag him out into the salt water. Okay. Will they come back out? Oh, he reformulates. Well, there's our green jelly right there. I mean, that's all that we really needed. I'll throw the meat in the water real fast so that I can pick up these jellies. There we go. We got the jellies. Can I get the bone? I do need the bone for armor as well. We don't have, like, any armor right now, and I would love to have armor. There we go. I'll throw the seagrass away. We don't need it for right now. Let's go find our base and see if we can get this water still put together so that I can start getting some water in bottles so that we don't die of thirst because that's really the big risk when you get to this island. Hopefully, I have all the stuff. Mm, let's take a look. So, solar still is ready to rock. Didn't have room for it inside my inventory, though, which kind of sucks. Uh, we'll throw that down right there, and then we've got the solar still. I'll probably just plop you right over here, my dude. All right, bottle, you go in there. That'll slowly fill up with water. Uh, it's got to be in the sun, though. If the sun is not up, the solar still does not work, hence the word solar. 
Just something to sort of roughly keep in mind while you're playing the game. Um, I don't know if my stuff will stay on the ground over here. Like, I would sort of hope it would stay on the ground over here, but I can't promise that it will. Can I make, like, a storage crate or something? Storage crate would be good. I can make a storage crate, but it takes a whole bunch of tree branches. Oh, I can get a wagon as well, but I, like, pull the wagon, I would guess. Kind of like uh, Valheim. Also got a hammock, recover health and rest. That's pretty useful. I'd be okay with that. You can eat with friends. There's junctions, water pipes, all that kind of stuff, too. Kind of a cool idea. Okay. Well, I sort of feel like the crate is the best idea for right now. So therein is what I'm going to work on. Ah, crate accomplished. There we go. Great crate, mate. All right, so we'll take a crate. And we'll just kind of plop it right there. I don't really care if it's lined up or whatever. But now we can store some of the stuff that we just don't need for the moment. The real question is, can I craft out of the crate? That's the part that I'm interested in. But we can keep an eye on our stuff from now on. I've got cooked meat for food. So I'll probably eat both of those just to take the edge off. We got a water right there. This gives you plus 50 water. So like, I feel like using it before you're at half water is a waste. But we'll throw another one in there too. I did have a bug, but I think they patched it. So I've recorded this video twice. The first time I recorded it, I was losing the bottles whenever I would drink my water. And uh, now I'm not. It says we have 30 water right here, but I'm pretty sure the display is just messed up. All right, so what can we do next? I do want the bone armor very, very badly. Unfortunately, I have no coconuts on this island, so that sort of sucks. If we can get 60 seagrass, some sticks, and a hardened shell, we can get an actual, like, cloth bag that we carry around with us. Leather shoes seem like they're a little bit more complicated. I can get all that stuff. It just kind of is going to take a while. As far as tools go... The hammock's not a bad idea so that I can actually, like, get my HP back. So maybe I'll put in one of these over here. Oh, no, dude. The rats are coming. We are rats. We are rats. Well, die, rats. I don't have time for you. I need you guys to die horribly. Is fire... Ow, Christ. What was that? Good Lord. I don't know what just happened. I'm a little bit confused and I'm a little bit stunned. Does fire grass make good fire? It does not. Oh, you can throw a dead rat into the fire, though. Ah! Oh, God! Ah! I lit myself on fire. Okay. Apparently, I was not careful enough, and now I have been on fire. Uh, yeah, just eat the food real fast, because we're going to need that. And then, like, if I use the hammock, does time go by faster? Dude, we get mad HP back from doing that. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I like to see. Sweet. Okay, well, that's an easy fix-it-all solution. Uh, next goal, I would think, would be... I'm going to put my water back in here. I don't think we need to carry it around with us. Fire grass, I don't know what it does or what it's useful for, so I'm just going to throw that in there real fast, too. Just keep a nice, lean inventory. And then from inside of here, we can make a refinery, which will allow us... Oh, you can't craft from out of your chest because I have iron in my chest right now. That's a bummer. Okay, well, they should add that. Developers, if you see this, make it so that the game, when you go to a workbench, parses chests inside of a certain radius so that you can craft without having to do a bunch of inventory management. That, to me, is one of the greatest quality of life things you can possibly put into a crafting survival game because it gets so annoying just, like, shuffling around items all the time just to craft that one thing you want to craft. Uh, but anyways, I think we're just about out of time. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games. Today I was playing Breakwater, where I became the Iceberg Knight. I will see you all live on stream with this game whenever it goes up. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.